Uh, well, Sam, there's not a great deal of information, but what, what we do know is that this was an improvised uh, bomb explosion, uh, which went off, uh, as you pointed out yourself earlier on, at uh, a Remembrance Day service to mark the end of World War I at uh, a cemetery for non-Muslims organized by the French consulate in Jeddah. Uh, four people appear to be injured, one of them seriously, apparently a Greek security officer. This comes just two weeks after an attack on a security guard uh, outside the French consulate uh, in Jeddah uh, and points to growing tensions, I suppose, you have to, to, to look at the wider context between France and the Muslim world in the wake of the uh, murder and beheading of Samuel, Samuel Paty, the French school teacher, on October the 16th, following which uh, Emmanuel Macron at a remembrance service, a memorial service, made a very strong defense of uh, secularism in France, the right to free speech, saying that uh, there would be no ban on caricatures, caricatures would continue, which in turn led to a very strong response in the Middle East, uh, among M Muslim states, with a, a, a boycott of French goods, demonstrations. Uh, and that, I, I suppose, really is the general context. We don't really know who was responsible, whether it was Islamic State, whether it was Al-Qaeda, or simply a lone wolf responding to the tensions between France uh, and the Islamic world. At, at this stage, that's all we know. Uh, the French consulate has asked the Saudi authorities uh, to look into what's happened. There has been no response, as far as I know, from the Saudi authorities yet. Uh, and at that stage, that's about all we know. Yeah, absolutely right, Rob, there. And we also have contradictory information coming out. Some news agencies are saying three people were injured, others saying four. So, of course, we'll continue to keep a very close eye on that story. That was Rob Parsons uh, with his insights into the events in Jeddah today.